What's up everybody? The last time that we got to look at Elestrals, we got some really awesome pulls from some prototype booster packs. And we also had a chance to look at some awesome starter decks. And today's the day that we get to test these out. And that's why I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Elestrals. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits, clash for victory, ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. Elestrals is a new collectible card game that pulls in some of the best elements from games you know and love, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic the Gathering, and more. The gameplay system features a unique resource called Spirits, which functions as your life points, energy, and mana, all rolled into one. Elestrals is developed to be easy to play for new players, but hard to master with deep levels of strategy and complexity as you navigate using your spirits and strategies like Nexus. Electros is launching on Kickstarter after selling nearly 5,000 copies in September of pre-order decks. There is an eager fan base ready to dive in and make Electros the next big monster franchise. The Kickstarter will feature the Founders Edition of cards, which will never be printed again. And if you're a collector like me, you want those types of cards. Electros is developed by A-Drive. A-Drive has amassed over 1 million subscribers on YouTube and has extensive card game experience spanning back 20 years. Now one of the key unique aspects of Elestrals is that they aren't some huge company and they can listen to feedback and really make a game that a community would want to play and enjoy and come back to again and again. This Kickstarter is live now and will be open until December 9th. So make sure to use the link in my description to go purchase something because it's a really exciting thing to be a part of. Something very brand new and like I said, I'm very interested in this so I'm going to be buying something from the Kickstarter as well and we will feature it again on the channel in the future. All right, so if you found that interesting, then go check out the link in my bio because you can go back Elestrals right now on Kickstarter. So be sure to do that. And if you're looking to see the rules of how to play the game, there are better videos to watch to see like the rules and everything. But my friend Brian is here and we are basically going to be playing like playground rules where we're going to be following the rules as close as we can, but we're not official judges and you know, we don't have an official judge here, but I would really like to show you how the game is played out. And we just played a practice game and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get into the, uh, some gameplay. So one thing I will say that uh, when we were play testing, this was a lot like old school Yu-Gi-Oh um, with like the premise of energies that like Pokemon has, which I, I don't know, I find it very enjoyable. All right, All right you wanna roll first? Sure. Two, five, all right, uh, I would like to go first. Cool. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. I will cast with Lephiathan my small Tuga, and when it is normal, in, oh, when it's normal enchanted, so not when it's normal casted. And then what I will do is I will play down Poseidon by casting it. And I believe I can do this. I am going to cast my second Poseidon. And with that, I will end my turn. Cool. I will draw. So I will uh, normal cast. Uh, Valkyries. Wow, I'm so stupid. I should have cast it in defense. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this Valkyrie gains one attack for every enchanting pyro on the field. All right. And... Uh, I will uh, attack. Uh, all right. Your monster. Goes into this card. And is that all? That's it for me. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, I will normal cast Cinder in defense. So you have to now uh, discard your top three cards and put them into the underworld. Okay. Cool. Uh, I will end my turn there. I will uh, ascend by adding a spirit here and uh, switching out Valkyries for Blazerus. All right. Uh, this goes to discard. So Blazerus can attack twice. If this destroys two Illustrials in the same battle phase, you can special ascend this Blazerus to a Trifernal from my hand or deck. Uh, you only have one monster, so uh, I will attack at your Cinder and defense, so. All right, but you can attack twice, so you can attack my yes. spirit deck. So you I'll attack to. your spirit deck directly, All right. so. Not that I should be helping you out, but. <laughs> <laughs> playground rules, playground rules. Uh, and then I end my turn, yeah. All right, so draw. I will expend a spirit to draw. I will end my turn. Cool, draw. Normal cast, uh, Warmite. And attack. 
Uh, since you have no monsters, I'm gonna attack your spirit deck directly for uh, three. Do you wanna do it for five? Yes, double attack, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, I uh, guess I'll get rid of these two. And I have my turn. All right, draw. Something, something. Normal cast. Here in defense, and then with this, I can search my deck for one spirit water electral and or water spirit electral and add it to my hand. I will grab Kraken, and with that, I will end my turn. Cool, draw. I'm gonna send my Warmite for Leonite. No, <laughs> discard that. Uh, so as long as this monster was uh. Playing an attack position, neither player can activate invoke runes. <laughs> Hello, Kona. And uh, yeah, uh, I will attack with Leonite All right. for one spirit, and then four more. I have three spirits left. <laughs> Looking grim for Starman here. Let's see it. Draw. Oh! Alright, no, I can't win no matter what. Um, because I'm about to expend these, and it doesn't even give me enough attack to take my <laughs> early night. Uh, do you want to play a second game? Yeah. I'll All right, cool, cool. All right, so since I lost, I choose if I want to go first or second, and I would like to go first again. Sure. So I'm going to normal cast, and then I'm going to be able to search for a water spirit, Lestral. I'm going to grab Veritwaga. Then with that, I will end my turn. I will normal cast Necroth. I'm going to attack uh, Peliquarius. And if I destroy an Elestro in battle, then you must expend one additional spirit. So. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. Off yeah, to a hot start. Hot. <laughs> All right, draw. I will normal cast Trident of Poseidon. So I will get two uh, extra attack. And then I will normal Atlantis. I'll cast Atlantis. So I get one attack and one defense for each uh, enchanting water. So I have six attack. That's going to bring me into my battle phase and I will attack over Necroth. I will cast Necroth. I will play Hammer and Feast this Fire Spirits. So uh, Empowered Lestro gains one attack for every enchanted rune on your field. So I'll apply it to Necroth. I'll attack it. So and you're gonna crash? Yeah, yeah, we'll crash it. All right. So. Nice. Resetting the board. Oh, and you also lose an additional spirit because oh, yeah. I attacked you. Yes, yes. So, and then uh, get rid of uh, my pyro. Cool. Normal cast pharaohs. Uh, I can't do the effect just yet. It would require me to nexus. And then I will play, I will cast Poseidon using Leviathan. And then I will go into the battle phase and attack your spirit deck. I'll play Astro Rabbit in defense. Smart move, rabbit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll look at my top three cards and take one and put the other two back in my deck. All right. That's it, I'm my turn. All right, draw. I will use a Vipyro to ascend into a Kratatuga in defense, and my turn. Blow in defense. No, that one's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, and All right. Turn. Draw, I will normal cast Cinder. So I'm going to switch into attack. I will go into battle, and I will use Cinder to attack your Clovey. No, bye Clovey. And then I will use Krakatuga to attack your Astro Rabbit. Okay. Earthquake. Ooh. Targeting destroying Elastro on the field. Okay. That one's gone. Wow. Power move. <laughs> Warmite. Uh, I, I'm targeting that monster, so it loses four attack until the end phase. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna attack it directly. All so right. No spirits. I will normal cast Kraken using Leviathan. When I normal enchant, I can target an Electro and I can't attack, so I'm gonna target that just to do it. Um, then I'm going to normal cast Poseidon. So, so then I will go into battle mode and attack. Sweet. I will play Warmite and target that one that has uh, it decreases the attack by four. Yep. Just, and I will destroy it. All right. And my turn. <laughs> if you like that one, here's something you'll really enjoy. <laughs> I'm going to normal cast 
my Warmite. <laughs> oh, man. I will target your Warmite, and then I will attack in battle phase. That's fair. <laughs> and then I have my turn. Necroff. So, uh, yeah, I... That's not affected by Atlantis, so I'll attack directly, and you must expend an additional one. All right. And my turn. All right, I have three spirits left. So I'm gonna go with Lycoris. All right, this is the ultimate draw. I will use two spirits to play my Nectar of the Gods. Oh, wow. So if these two don't win me it, it's over. One. Two, and these are both unplayable, so I oh, lose. <laughs> good games, though. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> All right, now that was two Playground Games of Elestrals. If you did enjoy that, then be sure to check out the link in my description to check out the Kickstarter. And I just appreciate you watching it to the end, but I will see you next time.